What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of our College of H Me Let's Play Minecraft series. Uh, we're just going out exploring a little bit um, in order to go look for um, some villages or something to kind of go expand to and just explore a little bit more. And I, I was on my way back and I happened to find this little hole here. Um, and I thought, oh, that's an interesting find because if you don't, if you know, um, this is actually a little chamber, um, and it sounds like, or judging by the sounds of the mobs, it kind of sounds like it's a skeleton farm. So that's awesome. So we can come over here and and make a farm out of it, um, and probably get some uh, XP. Uh, XP as well as arrows and lots of bones and bone meal so let's go back home because uh, our home is just right over here um, and looking at it oh wow you know this this area looks really really neat um, so the barricade has been really helpful it keeps us safe from a lot of the stuff um, especially in the nighttime um, and I still haven't let yet lit up this area out here I've just been doing a lot of mining down below in our base um, but you know this is all looking this is all looking pretty cool <laughs> so let's go ahead and, and go back into our house let's put Claude Felter back in his little little stable there you go Claude Felter um, let's see I didn't take anything from there so we just went to go look for the coordinates of a nearby village because I'm thinking that we want to build a pathway over there so if you recall in the um, in a previous episode, I was saying that we were going to build a train station all the way to that farm. And so that is kind of what we're going to do. Um, although, I don't want to make a simple you know, train in order to go over there. Nope, I am going to make it <laughs> like ridiculously redstone heavy um, and just really... I don't know, more excessive than it needs to be. So I was doing a little bit of thinking on that and how exactly I wanted to do that and laid that out. Um, but I finally found a video that was kind of inspiring. I mean, it's not like a tutorial or anything. It's like a concept that I really found interesting. So I think this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to start out that build um, and actually... I'll put a link down to the description down below. It's from Minecraft PG5. He's a, a YouTuber, um, or he makes YouTube videos, um, but all of his videos are pretty like concept based. He doesn't really do a whole lot of tutorials in order to show how they're built, and that's just fine. Um, but I am going to put a link to that video in the description. Um, and he just he just has a lot of proof of concept videos, like I said, um, just to kind of show. I mean, show the public how, you know, the mechanisms work in, you, in the uh, game of Minecraft, how you can use them, and uh, this, this proof of concept video is really interesting, and I think I want to try to use that in my own base. Um, so the thing that I'm really debating about is where to place it. I mean, I know that I want to place it there, but I don't know, um, I mean on this wall here, but I don't know exactly how far down I want to build it, because if we have it all the way down at the bottom, um, I mean, I think that would be the best, I mean, because as we're mining, we can certainly pick up all the diamonds and things that we find in our mine, I mean, like from mining there, um, but also, I don't know, we're going to be closer to the lava, too. So that's a little bit of a um, something to think about. Um, so I'm thinking about making it on the second floor. Um, but one thing that I didn't really consider was um, either having, I mean, having the track kind of go back and on, on forth. I mean, sure, I can get there okay, but how do I make it back? That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so I'm trying to decide on exactly which level to start building it on. I mean, the, the pathway to build it on. Um, and so that's something I still need to decide, but um, that's kind of, that's where I want to start off this episode. So we're going to get, whoop. <laughs> so we're going to get uh, starting with building it and um, we'll see where this episode goes from there. So I'll be right with you once I decide where to start building it. 
All right, so I finally decided we're going to build it over here, and I am going to go with that design from Minecraft, or um, Minecraft PG5, I think the name was. Um, so we're just going to build it here. So let's clear out a big space here. Yeah, uh -huh. I already lost track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so all of our redstone is eventually going to go here. Um, and by here, I mean... <laughs> um, seven or f a few blocks below this so this part is just the pathway and all of the redstone for at least one side of the track is going to go on on this side so this like i said the redstone goes here and then so if we go let's see seven one two three four five six seven um and then don't forget we need the two tracks one two Okay, so that would be the tracks. So if we, basically I'm just gonna carve out this area here. Okay, and just so I know <laughs> where the area is for the redstone and the other parts too. So this is, like I said, the pathway, and this is basically going to be our station. So let me go ahead and clear out this area here and then we can clear out the bottom area and we'll move on from there. So I'll see you once this is all mined out. Bye bye. So I cleared out a big enough area over here and this is this is about the start of our room. It's really going to be a lot lower actually. Um, we want to build it down on level 12. Um, and so that's, I mean, that's where we're going to put our room. Um, but right now, let's go ahead and we want to get enough half slabs as well as, hmm, get some of these oak wood stairs. I don't know exactly how many I need yet, um, but that'll do. <laughs> that'll do for now. Um, so... Uh, let's go ahead and basically what I want to do is build up um, and like a I don't know how to describe it nope, nope not that like an arch well that wasn't that wasn't so hard <laughs> uh, basically want to build up an archway um, which I'm gonna build out of this um, but basically I'm designing this kind of as I go. <laughs> uh, so let's go put that one there. How about put one like there? And then, okay. How about we do that? Um, we should probably put that, no, 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 no. Well. Hmm. Hmm, that's already an upside down stair. So it's not like I guess I'll put like that. Maybe. I guess that's how it was before, huh? <laughs> um, okay. Then well, let's continue that way and then we had a stair on an upside down stair block. And then I think it was a half slab and then another stair right there and then we put another half slab there and that didn't go there that looks okay um, I'm not really sure Maybe if we put like that that'll look good I think. Um, so let's go ahead and replicate that there. So we had it like that. Slab, slab, another slab, and then what am I doing? Nope, that was, that's it. And then we had an upside down stair there, another one there, and then I 
think oh slab 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 and then more slabs nope I was wrong we replaced these okay I remember now we replaced those with stairs huh so give me the other slab cool um so I'm not really sure how many more we can fit in here one two three and then we have another one two three and we have another hmm. well I guess that'll work <laughs> um, so I guess we need to extend out the other one because I want it to be even so if we I guess we could mine out one more area here so let's go ahead and do that do 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 okay two and then up more cool whoops I don't know what that was about <laughs> little lag I guess okay so that looks that looks okay um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up these other pillars I mean arches and um, I'll get back to you once that's done and kind of show you what the next step of our build is going to be so I'll be back with you okie dokie so we went ahead and finished the arches now I just wanted to place down some half slabs here just to kind of save on the resource <laughs> um, actually thinking about it now I should probably put additional half slabs under here at least because it is going to be the sky bridge um, but what we want to do next is basically clear all of this down to the necessary level um, so let's see do I even have enough I'm wondering so basically if I half slab it all the way down to level 12 so let's get my debug menu on although yeah this is level 12 okay so let's take it off it's in my way mm -hmm. okay and like that so mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and clear out the rest of this except for these half slabs here and once we are done with that <laughs> I'll, I'll show you where we're at um, so yeah be right back actually you know what we're gonna replace this we're gonna replace this all with probably like stone stone stairs maybe probably probably with stone stairs if I had any stairs. And by stone, I do of course mean stone brick stairs. There we go. <laughs> so let me go ahead and replace them and then dig out the rest of this and I'll show you where we stand after that. Okay, welcome back. So if you haven't watched the other video already that's by the way in the description down below, then I mean, if you haven't watched it, then let me explain to you what's going on here. We're building a, basically a subway station, um, <laughs> but except the subway station, what's going to be, um, I'm going to have a lot of the mine carts with the storage chests in them so that once I do decide you know to go to a certain location if I want to bring that stuff some stuff back all I have to do is load up all the chests and instead of having to make multiple trips back and forth or getting you know ender chests which would probably be pra more practical I guess what we're gonna do <laughs> instead is gonna have a um, we're gonna have a redstone chain <laughs> I mean uh, you know like a subway cart and so instead of having to make multiple trips, I could just stay out there, keep mining whatever I want, and then once we need to go back to base, we could just hop in the, the train, push a button, and then it'll take us to the next station, to the next station, to the next station, and then eventually, I mean, depending on how many stations we have, it'll just um, eventually take us back to our other station. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically what we're going to do. Um, and... 
first I gotta figure out, of course, um, which direction we go. <laughs> See, I'm trying to think of, of how the, the subway stations are set up in my city, um, except it's not really, it's not really a subway, it's more like a, um, well, it's a streetcar. I, I live in Portland, and the streetcar that we have, it's it's called the Max. I'm pretty sure the Max is, I mean, usually we have the, the platforms on the other side, so whenever I think of it, it's like, oh, okay, when I board a train, the train goes off to the right, but then again, if we do that, <laughs> if we board the train and the train goes off to the right, then we end up going opposite, I think. I mean, when you think about it, left is... I mean, in America, we drive on the right side, <laughs> and so you would think it'd be, it would go the same for the tram. So I think I think that's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's exactly how it works, though. So our train would go, or our minor subway would go this direction. Um, so <laughs> I'm having such a difficult time. I don't understand why. So let me go ahead and clear out this area here. And uh, let's go ahead and replace this with some half slabs. And in fact, I think I already screwed up. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and replace that. And in fact, yes, I did. I did kind of screw up a little bit. Um, basically, what we want is a way to. I mean, the train will come into the station. We'll stop here. We'll push a button like there or something, and then the train will go. So um, let's go ahead and let's see. I need to replace that and put the cobbles or the slabs there. I'll replace that and put the slabs there. And then you guess what? I'm gonna replace that. <laughs> so let me go ahead and and get all this stuff cleared out, and I'll pretty much get back to you and show you what we got then um, although I'm thinking now we may have a few too many carts I mean we don't need as many carts as yeah we don't need so many carts <laughs> but let's go ahead and and show you I mean I'm gonna get back to you after we have our design all set up um, and I'll do the same over on that side as well so I'll get back to you Okay, so next what we want to do is we want to create some powered rails. So I got a bunch of gold nuggets. <laughs> this is this is probably not even half of all of the uh, gold nuggets that I have. <laughs> there we go. Bunch of ingots now. Um, so let's see. We need we need to create these, which also means we need a bunch of sticks and then the redstone. So let's go ahead and create those powered rails. Um, and I also need a number of redstone torches. So let's get, I don't know, 18. That sounds like a good amount. <laughs> so let's just check something really quickly. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I had sound because I wasn't able to hear myself. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in some power here so what we want is redstone torch and okay so let's put down the redstone torch and then that um, so we want all of this man I probably should have thought of this before I put all the stuff down but put our redstone I mean the half slabs on top of the torches so meaning this is all I mean the the torches will be powering all of this so let's go ahead and place those down awesome and then let's go over the other side and do the same over here okay commentary still sucks guys <laughs> uh, I need more topics to talk about um, Maybe I should think of, of the things that I do want to talk about in between our episodes. <laughs> um, so, I guess in news that's related to me, or I guess this YouTube stuff, um, me and my friends are getting all ready for um, the server that's coming out soon. 
um, and we're all really excited about it. Um, the thing is that we're waiting for is 1.8 to come out. So that might take a while. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to place down these torches, or these, um, what do you call them? Powered rails. <laughs> we're going to put down the powered rails, um, and really the, what the goal is here is to um, basically make it so that once the cart comes into dock we only allow it to go in one direction so instead of um, so what we want is basically to um, hmm, we want it to go up right so let's go ahead and place one there and one there so if we plus put place it here it's this since this one's already connected to this powered rail it shouldn't try to switch um, so basically only this one will connect with this one and this one won't connect with this one so let's try it there we go yeah so let's go ahead and do all of that awesome exciting <laughs> so we'll do the same over here uh oh I do it backward? I think I might have. Nope, I didn't do it backward. Hmm. This is odd. Hmm. Bam. Nope. Nope. Let me figure this out and see where we're going wrong. Be right back. Okay, so I was doing a little bit more research into this whole idea as to why all the, all of the powered rails seem to be facing in that direction. So it would only go off in this direction, which is the south direction. Um, and so I'm looking at this side too and it's only still going in the south direction and I was researching it and I realized part of the mechanics of the game only allow or the powered rails end up favoring the direction of the south and the east direction so the positive Z direction and positive X direction um, and so I realized that that would uh, really break <laughs> this this whole design so I'm trying to think of an alternative uh, but still use the same concept developed by PG uh, or Minecraft PG5 um, and so just for example if we put down this minecart it should just go off in that direction um, without put bouncing back to us so let's go ahead and push that and there it goes um, and then so with this one over here let's so say for example we come and and we want to go in that direction but right now the way that the mine carts are I mean the powered rails are set up and again it won't allow me to go in that direction um, you know if we push the mine cart here it'll just stop right at this first knuckle here and in fact it'll just end up glitching <laughs> through yeah so uh, we can't, we basically can't do that. So we need to think of an alternative. And just as an example here, I, I wanted to show you guys what um, what I'm kind of thinking about here. Um, and basically, what this does is when the mine carts, or I want to power it long enough so that the mine when the mine cart comes in, it'll just kind of dock here at the station um, at each of these powered rails and by the way there's going to be like some timers involved that'll need that'll be required in order to get this to work um, but what we're going to do is um, basically time it and then once we get in here we'll stop the timer and then once we press the go button it's going to invert the signal which will power then the redstone and so if we do that and take away this torch then it should just all go <laughs> and uh, so that's what we want to do, basically, um, is, I don't know, change up the design, incorporate that somehow, 
um, which means that you know I'm gonna have some fun kind of figuring this out and figuring out how I want to rebuild this whole project so um, I'm probably gonna take like a night or two to think about it and probably work it out in maybe a test world too um, just before I end up digging out this area a little more um, but yeah I just thought it would be be cool of me to uh, show you that and I, I mean you know the, the cool part about let's plays are figuring out the mechanics of the game and I feel like um, being able to show that you understand the mechanics of the game makes let's plays a lot more interesting to watch or at least for me it is um, so yeah I, I thought I would share that with you and um, you know, if you do have any questions about the Southeast rule, as it's called, then go ahead and post it down in the comments, and uh, I'll I'll be happy to discuss it. But of course, we'll probably address all your questions by the end of this episode. So, um, just thought I'd show that to you, um, and we'll we'll kind of see where we go from there. <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to give a little bit of an update. Um, this is what I have so far. So, um, I mean, I can't remember exactly what I did. Let's take away this, and I'll show you what's kind of going on here. Um, so in the back room here, when the when the, um, the minecarts go across this, this detector rail, it'll trigger this line of repeaters. And so after a certain amount of time, it will trigger the piston which pushes the block out of the way so this it just inverts the signal um, and so I want this to be on I mean this line to be on all the time which means that this torch is off which means that right above that we have a well we have a minecart but the minecart is sitting on top of a powered rail um, and so once we go once it goes over here it will invert the signal or it'll you know power this push out the block invert the signal and then turn this off uh, turn the powered rail off and then when we're sitting in here let me put that back when we're sitting in here we can just push this button it'll start going and it will turn on or let me show you I guess how it's wired up on the other side but the back side is wired up so that it will push your power this piston which pushes the redstone block back and then so this line is powered uh, and then it turns on the powered rails which causes them to move um, but the real trick to this design is being able to catch the minecarts when they go by so I need to really work on the timing but this is kind of what I have so far um, which is okay this is a little odd I don't know why I'm like in the block let me see yeah I'm sitting like in the block hmm okay so let's go and kind of see where this goes yeah I don't know I'm really glitching out here so let's go ahead and see and the goal is to get stuck there and we missed it <laughs> so I really need to work on the timing here um, in order to get it right so um, let's just try one last thing I'm gonna replace all the all of these two I think um, yeah, all the timing is really weird on these, um, so I'm thinking about just redesigning it all. Um, so what we want really is to this be triggered a little bit earlier. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change that to two ticks and then also extend these by one and hopefully that does something. So let's try it again. Uh, hop in the cart, push the button, and then we'll go around do, 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 do. so all the cards are falling behind us and we triggered it and we don't get caught dang it okay so see I need to figure out some some way in order to get this fixed come on cart come back no come back okay so we need to fi figure out some way of getting this all fixed um, and so I think that's it for this episode. I'm going to think on this in between episodes. I don't know if I'm going to show you, um, you know, how I'm building the next part or not. Um, but I am just going to take a think on this um, while I figure out what I want to do. Um, but of course, if you like this episode, if you like the technical type of episodes, do let me know down in the comments. Um, otherwise, I was getting a pretty good response from, where's our last minecart? 
I was getting a pretty good response from our um, the our other series. Um, I mean, not series, but when we were out uh, up on the surface and building those um, those stuff, <laughs> the tree um, and other things. Okay, there's the minecart. And so I want to know what you guys think. Um, do you like these types of technical episodes, or do you like the decoration episodes, or do you like a combination, a mix of both? Do let me know, um, and you know I'll do my best in order to make the type of videos that you guys like. Um, oh, that's interesting. If you notice, the minecart disappears once I look off a certain part. That's really interesting. I know that that happens with item frames, but I didn't realize it happens with minecarts too. Anyway, um, thanks guys for watching. Do leave your comments down below, and if you like the video, please do leave a like, and I really appreciate it. So I'll talk to you guys later, and hope you have a wonderful day.